During this time, Lot was also traveling with Abram. Lot also had sheep, goats and cattle, as well as his own family and slaves. The land was no longer large enough to support both Abram and Lot living together as one household. They each had so many possessions that they just couldn't stay together any longer. The shepherds of Abram and Lot began to argue. Abram said to Lot, Let's not fight. I don't want there to be any animosity between you and me. After all, we're family, and our men shouldn't be fighting one another. It is time for us to go our separate ways. You choose your land. If you choose east, I'll go west. If you choose west, I'll go east. It's your call. Lot looked and saw the whole Jordan Valley. He saw that there was much water there. So Lot chose to live in the Jordan Valley. The two men separated and Lot began traveling east. Abram stayed in the land of Canaan, and Lot lived among the cities in the valley. Lot moved as far as Sodom and made his camp there. Given their recent experiences in the famine, Lot chooses the lush, fertile soils of the Jordan Valley for his new home. But as Lot moves his family east, he moves farther from Abram and closer to danger. After Abram and Lot had gone their separate ways, the Lord said to Abram, Look around to the north, south, east, and west. I will give you and your family all the land you can see. It will be theirs forever. I will give you more descendants than there are specks of dust on the earth, and someday it will be easier to count those specks of dust than to count your descendants. Now walk back and forth across the land, because I'm going to give it to you. Abram took down his tents and went to live near the sacred trees of Mamre at Hebron, where he built an altar in honor of the Lord. After some time passed, four kings from the east fought against five kings from the Canaan region. The four kings defeated the five kings, and then took everything of value from Sodom and Gomorrah, including their food supplies. They also captured Abram's nephew Lot, who lived in Sodom. They took him and his possessions and then left. Then one of the men who had escaped the battle went and found Abram. He told Abram what had happened. As soon as Abram heard that his nephew had been taken prisoner, he gathered a company of his most reliable and best trained men. There were 318 of them, all born in his household, and pursued the enemy as far north as Dan. When he caught up with them, Abram divided up his men, surrounded the enemy, and attacked them during the night. He and his soldiers crushed the invaders and pursued any survivors all the way to Hoba, north of Damascus. After the battle, Abram recovered all the spoils the enemy had taken and brought them back with him. He rescued his nephew Lot and brought him back, along with Lot's possessions and the women, and everyone else who had been captured. After the battle, Abram decided to head back home. On his way home, the king of Sodom went out to meet him in the valley of Shava. This is now called King's Valley. The king of Sodom told Abram, Give me my people who were captured, but you can keep everything else. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I promise to the Lord, the God Most High, the one who made heaven and earth. I promise that I will not keep anything that is yours, not even a thread or a sandal strap. I don't want you to say, I made Abram rich. The only thing I will accept is the food that my young men have eaten. But you should give the other men their share. Take what we won in battle, and give some to my friends who helped me in the battle.